Throws to Wesson, feeds Jackson, steps into the three, left of the circle, he hits it. On a night when Wisconsin had a hard time finding offense, Ohio State, they just couldn't miss. Throw back out the tape for three is good on the right side. The Buckeyes beat down the Badgers Thursday night 83-73, handing Wisconsin its second straight road loss and giving Purdue a little more cushion at the top of the Big Ten. I mean, the numbers told the story in the first half. I, as soon as I saw the st stat sheet, they confirmed what my eyes told me in the first half. and. That's something, again, we talked about in terms of the uh, sense of urgency because we knew they would likely play with the sense of urgency more so than what they maybe played with in Madison. Wisconsin at times chipped that lead down to nine and sometimes seven points during the second half, but Ohio State always had an answer, especially behind the arc. Buckeyes finished the game 10 for 16 from three. Didn't follow what we had talked about for two days here in, in terms of letting them do what they wanted to do, and you get a little confidence right from the start. You know, we gamble on a post pass, we miss it, and Thompson dunks it, and it ignites the fire right from the start. And then we make some mistakes on screens, we don't get the ball stopped on a, on dribble drives at times, and again, once they get a couple easy ones to go in, then they hit some tough shots, and we give them credit. Um, that's the best they've shot the ball in a while, but we, we played into that a lot, especially early. Bronson Candy matches his career high with 27 points and broke Ben Burst record for most threes made by a Badger. Doesn't get any easier, though. Wisconsin goes back on the road to play Michigan State Sunday. Inside Value City Arena, I'm Chris Hall for Wisconsin Athletics.